Okay, hey Lauren, how you doing? Okay, what I have, I'm with Bob Larkins from Pioneer and he's going to lay out um, the logo that's probably going to be something like 8 foot by 16 foot and we're using this column right here um, which basically is a location at um, Blossom that will probably be a dead zone so that anybody that buys a ticket for the lawn or sits on the lawn will not want to sit on this area. People will definitely walk around it but they definitely won't sit on it. Um, so we'll be able to put the logo in this particular area of the stage. As people come down from the lawn, the lawn, they'll be able to see the logo. And what I'm suggesting Bob to give us a quote on is there are these two posts directly, um, you know, apart from one another, house right and house left. And he's going to give us a quote for the stencil, the application, possibly the paint that we would cover over it or I don't know what but we'll, we'll get a full cost on everything and then multiply it by two to use it for the two shows and um, we'll see what the cost is from there uh, they're gonna also put a cost in that they will come out and do it um, it has to be on a dry surface uh, so that it retains itself so it'll have to be done sometime around noon after the uh, uh, the sun hopefully and we will have a sunny day burns off the dew. If it is rainy during the day and it doesn't go away, this is not going to happen. And we'll probably have to get an idea of probably having to pay for the stencil. And if it's too wet to put on, then there's no way of getting it done. So that's it. This is the area. I think it might work and I think the orchestra might not have an issue with it if they see that it's a dead zone. Uh, but there's no way we can put it in the center of the lawn uh, but where we have it, it'll probably work both this side and you can see where the staging is and then all the way on the other side You can see the post there. So I think people that sit on the lawn will definitely be able to see it Thank you